Hey, what's up? It's Raven here. We go with another NFL Rivals video. We are doing a voiceover today because I recorded this entire video and forgot to turn my mic on. So please bear with me while I uh, just talk over what I'm doing here. So what we're doing today is we're going to do the Adrian Peterson campaign, the second leg. We're going to throw a couple games. We'll put a, play a couple games and, uh, you know, we'll just finish it there. All right. So here we go. We are playing the Bears, and it says, Week 13, the Vikings were down 20-10 to in the fourth AP, led his team to a huge comeback, winning 23-20, relive one of his biggest games. So we are running right now with the base Adrian Peterson in the lineup. Most of these games, if not all of them, are just runs, because obviously he's a running back, but... Of course, I say that, and here we are with passing on. So we're going to throw it right up the middle to Brandon Cooks. We are six down 16, 20, or 20 to 16. Fourth quarter, 1 minute, 26 seconds. We're going to go for two here, and we'll try to dump it off to Peterson, get him involved at least, and we got the two, so it's 18. And there we go, Foyasada Luakon with the pick. He was the guy that I got in the blueprint in our last video. And I didn't notice that guy was going to run it in, so I overthrew him. But it's not every time we get a, a decent pull, but we got one. Uh, by the way, I did not get anybody else outside of... I opened up some packs off video. Uh, I also will say that, by the way, we're up 24-20 with 59 seconds to go. I will say that... I could be, I could stand corrected, but it did say something about how they decked out all the uh, unif uh, uniforms, geez, stadiums with Halloween, and I have not seen that yet. I thought maybe just because this this event is different or the campaign is different, and if you, I played the CJ Garden Gardner Johnson event, and still a regular stadium, so I'm kind of disappointed there. All right, so with 20 seconds to go, we dump one over the top of Michael Pittman Jr., and that's going to give us 31 points, and we're going to go to the win. We're going to get a win out of this. We'll kick the field goal to make it 32-20, and even though there's 19 seconds left, they cannot come back. So chalk up another win. Although Peterson did not really play... That much of a role in this win, but a win is a win. All right, so there's your final, 32-20. And then we will wait and see what the next scenario is. Also, I uh, we had two we had two crashes last game, last video. So let's see if we cannot repeat that. Okay, I got to see what challenges. I forgot to check what challenges. We need to open a pack and rush for 145 yards. So we're going to open the pack and keep our fingers crossed that the game does not crash. And again, with iPad, for some reason, packs are just wonky. Let's put, let's put it that way. So yes, I opened it up. The game's thinking about it. And it gives me a blueprint pack. They should just give us... We know what it is. Just give us the blueprint. We don't have to go through... Opening two packs just to get one thing. All right, so we're hoping for something better than a rare. So we're going to get a base card and a rare. If you don't get a base card, you know you're getting at least an epic. But again, you can check by the animation. So we get Donovan Peoples-Jones. And we're clicking on... It's going to be a rare. It's Andrew Wingard, which we do have a couple of uh, those base cards. So we could power... Him up, fuse him, whatever. But he's not going to make the lineup. All right, so we're going to move over to the second leg. Which, against Green Bay. All right, so the lore will pop up once we start the game. Playing Green Bay, if I didn't mention that. Come on. There we go. All right.
So 2012 NFC Wild Card, the game slipped away from the Vikings late in the second half. Rewrite history and complete the epic comeback with Adrian Peterson. Now this one might actually be all runs. We'll have to see. Nope, nope, there are passes here, but we will try to uh, incorporate Peterson into the game. We're running the first play. We're going to run around the end here. Now remember, we are using a base card, so he's not that fast yet, even at his max power. So right here, I tried to throw throw a pass to Peterson, but he looked like he was covered. And for some reason, I did not get it. So we can run him on this play and score an easy touchdown. And we get pretty much F5'd <laughs> at the line here. So we'll throw it to uh, Peterson here. Nope. We're going to throw it up the middle for Brandon Cooks and score the touchdown. So I didn't realize this when we first started playing. We're down. We're down by two, so this touchdown wasted a lot of time, but we put up 17. Now we just got to hope that we get an interception or some sort of turnover. They're punting. Gives us 49 seconds, which is more than enough time to get down the field. So we're going to throw, uh, we're going to run Peterson up the middle, kill some of the clock here. We got about 40 seconds to go, and looks like we're going to throw it right up the middle to Cooks. Now, we're gonna do we do we kick the do we make the kick or do we go for two? I say we go for two. All right. So originally I was gonna throw it up the middle and then I decided to dump it off to Peterson. I mean Brandon Cooks on that screen, but it was way too close. If we miss that, we uh, we lose the challenge. But then again, I stand corrected because C.J. Mosley comes up with a huge pick. So even if we did not get it. We still had another chance, and we hit C.J. Uzama with a touchdown. We'll kick the field goal, and we'll take the win. Look how laggy the game, the, the kicking is. All right, so it's 32-24. There is 20 seconds left, but they can't they can't come back. They punted. I don't like. I don't know why teams punt with no sec. Just throw it down the field. All right, so we're going to collect those rewards, and there's the game crash. So there's our first game crash of the video. I wish they would fix this. I say this every video. All right, so we'll wait till the game loads up again, and hopefully this is not a – we don't have a repeat performance. All right, let's check my challenges real quick. I still got to rush for 145 yards, so let's get that done before we – collect anything all right so back to campaign all right we're playing the chargers now 2007 week eight rookie ap broke the single game rushing record with 296 yards against the chargers down seven and a half to complete the comeback with runs only not a problem All right, so there you go. Run right up the middle there. Let's get out of bounds. Uh, it's 14-7, 125 to go. We got more than enough time. Uh, I don't think we're going to run for 100, uh, 296, but you know we'll, uh, we'll make a valiant effort. Let's put it that way. All right, we're kicking the field goal, tying it up, 14 up, 14 apiece. Lad McConkey. All right, Foyside Aluakon again with the pick. So we'll run uh, Peterson up the middle here. Can we get in there even with the base card? Not that fast. So, I mean, we'll, st we'll definitely score here. Let's run the blast up the middle. I like this play. One of the newer plays they added. All right, so we get the touchdown there. It's 20 to 14. We will kick the field goal. And there's 28 seconds to go. All right. That was the third quarter. There is, they punted it with 33 seconds to go. We're up by one. So we can run Peterson up the middle here. And then we'll run the blast. 
try to get out of bounds here. 14 seconds to go. They got me there. Let's call it timeout. Oops, wrong button. Let's uh, pad those running stats. We still need was 145 yards for the challenge. And there we go. Another touchdown for Peterson. 27-14. Kick the field goal. We're going to go for two here. And we didn't get it. Number 26 was faced the wrong way, and he still made the tackle. All right, so there you go. 27-14 final. We did not run for 296, but we did get the challenge done, I'm pretty sure. So I, I, I really like this. I like this, this campaign mode. They need to do this more often. All right, so hey, hey, there we go. So there is an Adrian Peterson rare that we just got. We'll collect some uh, running back rewards and some coins. And then we need a ticket now. It says complete power pass tasks to acquire a campaign ticket. So we got to go into the battle pass. They call it the power pass. I call it the battle pass, whatever. Let's check that out. Let's collect our challenges first. So we collected, I'm going to need three more passes to collect another one, another 400. Uh, let's go to the rewards. We got, any, we got to get to level 19 to get a campaign ticket. And right now we are at eight. So once I get that uh, two more passes or three more passes, whatever it was, we'll probably get another one. All right, so I guess we'll have to play some off video games just to get more, um, what do you call it, XP, XP to uh, gain this ticket here to move on. So it looks like there's a, it's broken up. So again, we need to, we have to do this every so often. I didn't notice this when we first started off checking this out, but whatever, I'll, uh, I'll work on that. So what I want to do now is I want to get the, at least the Adrian Peterson, I want to power him up because we'll be using him in the lineup now instead of the base card. So uh, I guess while we're waiting here, I know I'm going to do that. Again, I, uh, you know, I took some time off playing this game. I played it, you know, not as much as I used to, like every day, but I, I was playing it enough. And But I wasn't making videos. I spent a lot of time uh, playing Playmakers. Uh, I was kind of falling a love, out of love with this game. But I will say this, that again, Halloween event, love it. And the fact that they added this campaign mode with a player that hasn't been in the game, with it, I hope they do this more often. I really do. It definitely will bring. Uh, I, listen, I'm going to speak for myself here, but it definitely will bring you know people like me back into the game because I I really enjoy this. So we're going to power him up only to five, and then because you know who wants to watch me power a guy up? I also want to upgrade his synergy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to power them up to five, and then I'll uh, I'll use the rest of the power ups off video because we're, we're just wasting time here. I don't even know what his his uh, final overall will be. It says max 146, so we're, we're going to unlock his his synergy. But I feel like we should unlock his team captain. Is I it's worth twenty. I have two thousand seven hundred and something. Now the the Monster Smash 2, I only have two cards out of the three that you need to unlock or to get the bonus, plus five power. I'm just going to wait till I get one more guy, and then I'll unlock that as well. Because we want, we want him as powered up as possible. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play some games off stream. I say stream, but you know what I mean. Video, I'm going to... Uh, Get that next ticket, and then we will post another video, which will be the next leg, you know, however so many games, and we'll keep going with that. So anyway, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment, and we'll keep going with this. Tell me how you like the event. Tell me how you like the uh, Halloween aspect of it. But uh, until then, we will uh, keep going with this. 
and we'll po try to post a video every other day or whatever. So till then, I'll see you ne next time, and let's go AP.